And guys, this video has a dubbing feature available, so you can choose your language to better understand the subject of the video. Just click on the gear in the player, go to the audio track and choose your language. Have a good time. And guys, Google reveals that the hype for GTA 6 has dropped absurdly. Take a look. Well guys, we're already at the end of January 2024, you can't even believe it, you know? The year has already started with a bang, and who would have thought that we would be here talking about the now officially confirmed GTA 6 trailer, right bro? I still can't believe this happened, after so long. But it seems, guys, that contrary to what everyone imagined, that after Rockstar Games revealed the GTA 6 trailer, that the hype would only increase. Google Trends, a tool that measures the access of Google searches, pointed out that demand for the subject of GTA 6 has decreased drastically, reaching levels below the beginning of 2023, well before the game is confirmed. Now, why is this happening? Are people no longer excited about GTA 6? Did what happened in the trailer there leave the crowd discouraged? Stay tuned in today's video and I'll be commenting on this for you. But first, don't hesitate. Enough leaving the like to strengthen. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel, it's free. Click the bell below to activate all notifications so you don't miss our new GTA 6 videos and much more. And so guys, with the confirmation of GTA 6 and the announcement of the trailer, the game's hype reached astronomical levels. So much so that even here on our channel there have been a lot of videos commenting on the subject, on the trailer, doing mega analyses. Which even meant that our channel, after a long time, managed to reach peaks of views never reached for a long time. I also want to thank those of you who follow the Sand Play channel and who chose our channel to follow the coverage of GTA 6. Certainly when the game is officially launched, we will be working harder and harder to deliver a lot of content to you with quality and more and more frequently. But my channel is already focused on GTA, you know? We already talk about this, even though we're not in the hype. So it's obvious that when the subject became very relevant around the world, several news channels and portals, things that aren't even related to games or GTA specifically, also started talking about the subject, you know? I saw their political channels, opinion channels, editing channels, of the most diverse formats, talking about GTA 6, which demonstrates the great impact this game has, not only on the gaming community, but on pop culture in general. So just imagine when it's actually released, guys, how come people won't comment on the game? But apparently, guys, the announcement of GTA 6 and the launch of the trailer wasn't enough to keep the hype around the franchise. This is because Google Trends, which is a tool that measures Google search hits, indicated that access and searches for GTA 6 have increasingly decreased drastically reaching levels lower than July 2023, when we still had no confirmation that the game would actually be announced this year. So for you to see how after the announcement, after people had already seen what they needed to see, if there really is confirmation that the game is coming, interest in it has apparently diminished. Now, why has the hype for GTA 6 decreased so much in recent months? Does it have to do with the logic of consumerism, where people really want something, they really want a product, and once they get it, they kind of don't even use it, you know? Does it just sit there and lose its excitement? Is this what will happen with GTA 6? Well, guys, despite there being some logic to this study, at the end of the day there are some other factors that may have helped reduce the public's interest in GTA 6. One of them is that the game was announced for 2025, which is something that even moved the economic market a lot and caused Take-Two's shares to decline. This is because many investors did not want to wait more than 15 months with their investment stopped to make any profit, which caused large investors who put millions of dollars into Take-Two Interactive to simply withdraw their money. So, this distant date not only impacted the community, but also the financial market. Therefore, many fans ended up losing patience and interest in the title, you know? They kind of want to forget about it, since the game is far from being released, people don't even want to know more about it. And when it gets closer, they start researching again, getting more information, so the anxiety won't be as great. But Sen, what do you mean, make it worse? Well, it's worth remembering that we're already waiting for this game. It has been there since at least 2018, 2019. So, it's a long wait, right guys? We've been waiting for the game for four or five years, there's still a year to go until it's released, you know? And it could be a little more. This is because Rockstar Games is well known for announcing a release date for its games and when it is getting there in the final stretch of that time, they postpone it until a little later. So, the fear I have is that in addition to it being confirmed for 2025, it could be postponed a little further than maybe 2026. So, honestly, Rockstar Games, I don't even know what I do with my life, you know? I think I'm going to have to go to McDonald's and ask for a job. 
because waiting until 2026 will be a sacrifice, huh? However, there is still hope that they can confirm it for the beginning of 2025 and postpone it until the end, which I think is the most likely thing that will happen. If this doesn't happen, it will be the first time in history that Rockstar Games has released a GTA without postponing the announcement date, you know? So, let's pray for this to happen, okay guys? Another factor that may have made people lose interest in GTA 6 is that the game was only confirmed for console versions, that is, PlayStation 5 and Xbox series, causing the large PC community to be outraged at Rockstar Games. And rightly so, you know, I've already made a video that I'll be leaving in the little card above, commenting on why GTA doesn't come out for PC along with the consoles. So go there, check out the video and you'll find out why. And so, generally the PC versions of GTA tend to be released one to two years after the console versions. So, just imagine how long these people won't wait to play GTA 6, guys. It's no joke, you know? In the best case scenario, it will be released in 2026. Now, in the worst case scenario, 2027, 2028. In other words, they won't care about GTA 6 when this game is released. Now, I know that a lot of people are probably thinking, well, Google itself is already indicating that no one can wait any longer for GTA 6. Why does Sun and Play only make GTA 6 videos, bro? Isn't there anything else to talk about, you know? Until GTA 6 arrives, I know you're thinking that, but, guys, what you don't know is that I have the secret to waiting for GTA 6 without getting tired, which is Rox Energy, the energy drink for gamers. In fact, they have a special promotion for those of you who have never tried Rox and want to better understand how it works. Now, during the month of February, the Start Kit promotion will be running, where you will be able to purchase three sachets of Rox Energy doses with different flavors, plus a cocktail shaker similar to this one or in different colors, for just 39.90 Brazilian rails. And best of all, if you use the San and Play coupon, you will get a 10% discount on top of this amount. In other words, you will pay much less to have more energy to wait for GTA 6. The hardest part will just be choosing between the more than 21 flavors of Rock's energy. But then, when you get home, just put the powder in the water, shake it a little and make the most of the energy that Rock's will give you. But don't forget to use my Sand Play coupon there, huh? Bro, 10% off. Take advantage and guarantee today. The link is in the pinned comment. Another factor that contributes to the community's lack of interest in GTA 6 is that GTA 5 is still very active in the community. It still remains one of the most played games of all time, you know? It has already broken several records, more than 135 million copies sold, the game continues to be updated in online mode, you know? Even after more than 10 years, and without mentioning the roleplay mode, right guys? Even Rockstar Games bought 5M, you know? The company that owned 5M. So in the end, the player has many options to enjoy the game. And so, when will GTA 6 actually be released? I know a lot of people out there want to know that, guys. And so, to be quite honest with you, as much as I hope GTA 6 will be released in early 2025, there until June, July, which would be excellent. And it would be right during the American summer, bro. The time when people there are enjoying the games, when everyone is going out, consuming a lot in the United States, so it would be a perfect time. But let's be honest, guys, I think the most likely thing is that GTA 6 won't come out until November or October 2025. So, basically, bro, we still have a little over a year to wait for the game, you know? Being as realistic as possible. If the game really comes out in 2025, as promised by Rockstar Games, it should come out towards the end of the year, be launched during the festive season, Black Friday, or Christmas, which is also a time that sells a lot. And Rockstar Games is pro at marketing and selling. So, for sure, they will launch it in a way that brings them much more return. A time when people have money, they are consuming and it makes more commercial sense. So let's wait and hope that the game only comes out at the end of 2025, but Rockstar Games will certainly still do a lot of marketing for the game until then. There will be trailers too, three, four, probably four to five trailers, you know? As Rockstar Games usually works on these game images before release, so Jason's trailer will probably come. There will be a trailer that will show a little more about the game's universe. There will be some gameplay, so there will be a lot more to come. Not to mention, you know, those articles that always come out, you know? From IGN, Game Informer, now from the Bloomberg portal, you know? With Jason Schreier there leading the posts, there will definitely be a lot of news. So you can wait, guys, that in addition to official information from Rockstar Games, there will still be a lot of things coming out through the media, through these portals that are partners with Rockstar, and even through Take-Two Interactive, you know? Strauss Zelnick always talks a little more than he should in interviews, being scrutinized by journalists, so surely at one time or another some information will end up leaking out. It is worth remembering that now, on February 8th, there will be the next Take-Two Interactive shareholder meeting. So, sure, they should have some information about GTA 6, because it will be the first meeting after the trailer launch, you know? So, it's something very important. What about the PC version, my friends? Let's hold each other's hands. Let's wait for this version to arrive at some point, you know? I don't know when, 
but I'll be here eagerly waiting to play with you. And hey, it's worth remembering, you know, on the Sand and Play channel, we will always be posting all the news. You will always know everything about the game firsthand here on the Sand and Play channel. Just don't forget to go to the Rocks website and secure your start kit today using the Sand and Play coupon for a 10% discount. Just so I don't end up at McDonald's until GTA 6 comes out, okay? And if you like the content of this video, you know my dear, leave a like to strengthen it. This helps to show YouTube that you are interacting with the channel, so whenever there is a new video, YouTube will notify you there. Another way to not miss our videos is by clicking the subscribe button below, which is free, and also clicking the bell activating all notifications. We are almost reaching more than 70,000 people who have already activated the bell with all notifications and will not miss our new videos. So stick it there and let's try to reach the 100k goal. And remembering that our members watch the videos before everyone else. It has your name posted on the screen, access to gifts, exclusive stickers, and much more. Do you want to guarantee all these benefits? Click on the become a member button below and join the San and Play Mafia too. Or by clicking on the super thanks button. From one Brazilian real, you can leave your personalized message and greatly support our work. Check out our social media channels that are showing on your screen. There I always post everything firsthand. You can also send suggestions for new videos like this one. And it doesn't stop there. Choose one of these videos from the Sand and Play channel, which only has videos here for you. Thank you very much for your kindness. I hope you enjoyed more videos on the channel. We're together. That hug and goodbye.